And action! Bill! Bill! You're about to be exposed to the vacuum of space! Oh. Oh, just... The idea of the Doctor going blind in this episode was a story uh, plot point. I had, I had a problem, effectively. I had the idea of the Doctor going in space without a helmet. We'd already set the idea up that space is really dangerous, and if you go without oxygen in a vacuum, you will die. And then the Doctor survives. And I thought, it's unless he suffers, unless he pays a huge price, it's going to feel a cheat. Doctor. So I put in the idea that he is blinded by this experience. Bill, you're up. You're blind. I didn't run it past anybody. I just put it in the script, and I genuinely thought that Stephen was going to say, say no, you've gone too far, uh, cut it, put something else in. And he went, no, I love that idea. In fact, I'm going to carry it on past this episode. Oh, don't go all gooey on the temporary. Jamie came up with the, I thought, brilliant idea of the Doctor going blind. Uh, so he spends the climax of the adventure without eyesight. And it was such, it was so shocking when I read it. I said, oh my God, what's going to happen now? I've just literally never seen that in a Doctor Who before. That's amazing, that's amazing. It's Doctor Who is blind. I don't think the Doctor would like to admit that he needs any help from anyone. He really doesn't like help. So I think that because he's blind, he does not want to make anyone else think that they have to uh, look after him. And I think he feels that he's quite capable of looking after himself. Look at me! I oh, don't, no, I can't, I really can't. I always love that kind of thing when you add to the mythology past your little chunk of it. You're kind of carrying something forward. So I was quite pleased that that carried on. I can't look at anything ever again. I'm still blind. Don't forget to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.